Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first update in my 2023 Project Pan series. I'm so excited to be here with my first update and also my first empty. I'm very proud to say that we have hit an empty already, which is super exciting, although probably not surprising if you watched my intro. I think it was kind of like a given that we were gonna get this one, or at least pretty close to a given. So happy that we've already hit an empty and we are well on our way to having another successful year long project pan. So for those of you who may be new to this type of video or just need a little refresher, definitely check out my intro video, which I have a whole playlist, which will only be these two videos right now because 2023 just kicked off, but I also have a whole 12 month long playlist from 2022. So definitely check that one out if you wanna see more project panning. But how this project works for me is I'm working on five products at a time and I am working on those products until I finish them. And then once I finish a product, I will roll another one in in its place. It doesn't have to be the same type of product, it can be anything. I did a planning to pan video in December, so that'll give you a sense of like the different products I wanna work on this year, but certainly not just limited to those products. And how I track progress is every time I use a product, I mark it down in my notebook and then i also weigh the products on a monthly basis and also film the products so you can see like visual progress that way so that's kind of how i track progress throughout this project it's a super fun way to just use what's in your collection and not feel so motivated to buy 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 because you realize how long it takes to actually finish things and it also just makes you feel really like invested in finishing things and so i tend to just focus more so on my collection versus always looking out for the next new thing because it's so fun for me to project pan. I know it's not for everyone, but it definitely is in line with my personality, which is why I love doing it so much. I hope all of you are just as excited as I am to see this first update. If you are, then please keep watching. So the first product that I wanna talk about is my Iconic London Lip Gloss in the shade Nearly Nude. I used this 22 times this month, and I feel like I made some good progress. I'm sitting about here. I wish I would've made a little bit more progress than this, I have been having this sit on my vanity and so I've used it like most of the times when I am putting on makeup and then you know a few other times throughout the days like if I am home this used to live in my purse and I feel like maybe I used it a little more often when it was in my purse but if it's in my purse then I'm not using it when I'm getting ready and so I was kind of debating on like is it in the right spot so I can use it the most and so I'm not quite sure if I have it in the best location for me to get as many uses as possible but I still think 22 uses in a month is really good and you can definitely see it in the weight. So this previously weighed 27.16 grams and now weighs 26.69 grams. So I used a total of 0.47 grams up. So I think that we're making good progress. Like I said, we're down to here and then obviously there's some on the sides, but we are right about here. So I think, you know, and in the next, maybe three months I can finish this up unless I start using it, you know, a lot more than 22 times in a month. Next product is my NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I used this a total of 13 times. This previously weighed 73 grams and now weighs 70.67 grams. So I used a total of 2.33 grams up. And I have this always sit like this because otherwise the squeezy tube gets like really messy in like the cap and that makes like actual application of it hard, but because I have it sit like this and then I'm, I'm putting it like this to actually get the product out, you're not seeing any settling. I think maybe when we get a little bit more usage on this, I'll have it sit like this so I can actually show the settling there, but we still have a long way to go, so I haven't quite done that yet. I will say the more I use this, I don't quite love it as much. It looks a little bit like it's more warm than my actual skin tone, which is fine. Like once everything's blend out and I have bronzer on and stuff, like it, it blends and it works. But I also just see it like sitting on top of my skin. Like there are some foundations when you use, when you use them, like they really just blend in and they feel like your skin. And so sometimes I feel like with this one, it looks like it's really just like sitting on my skin, especially after first application. After I powder and put on my setting spray, I feel like it sinks in a bit more and looks better. But certainly like at first I've been like, ooh, I'm not sure I like how that's looking right now, which is interesting because I've really liked this one up until this point, but 
pretty much before this, anytime I was using this foundation, I was mixing it with another one. So I'm wondering if maybe just like using it on its own, I'm not loving it as much. But when I do the rest of my makeup, I feel like it ends up looking a lot better and a lot more natural. But definitely going back and kind of reforming my opinion on this one, especially when using it by itself. So this update on my NARS blush is an exciting update because as you can see, it looks a bit different than it did last month. And that is because I repressed it. I had been using it throughout the month and I started having a couple pieces crumble and I was kind of keeping them in with the rest of the blush so I didn't lose the product but realized like I needed to repress it so that they're all back together. So I repressed it and moved it as much towards the middle as I can. I don't know why but how it's sitting in this pan just reminds me of a piece of gum which I, <laughs> it's just funny. but. Now that it's been repressed, I feel like I have a lot more product than I did before. I don't know, it seems like there's a lot in there, but maybe I will move through it faster because I thought that with the other two products that I repressed last year that I was like, oh, there's so much more product now it almost feels like, and then I was able to move them, move through them pretty quickly. So we will see on this one, but happy to have it repressed. It's a lot easier to get my brush in there, and like I said, it's not crumbling anymore. So all good things with how it is looking now. And I used this 13 times this month as well. I previously weighed 18.43 grams and now it weighs 18.23 grams, so I used a total of 0.2 grams up. Okay, next is a product that I decided not to repress. So I was debating on when I repressed this one if I should repress this one as well. But to be honest, I've been having no problems getting my crease brush around the edge and getting enough eyeshadow to use. And then whenever I use this on my lower lash line, I'm using a much smaller brush so it fits in quite well. And so since it hasn't been crumbling, I haven't really felt the need to repress it and it's kind of more satisfying to just see the pan grow bigger and bigger. So until it starts crumbling or until I can't get my brush to pick up the amount of product that I need to be able to do the eyeshadow looks that I need to do with this, I'm just gonna leave it as is. And so just continuing to make progress on this one, it actually works out really well. If you watch my pan, those eyeshadows project pan, I rolled my quintet and Four out of the five are shimmers and the matte shade that I did roll in is definitely not a crease shade and so this one has been perfect because I've been able to use it pretty much every time I'm doing my eyeshadow and so definitely being able to get a good progress on this one and it's just been performing really well and I'm happy that it's rolled into this and I'm so excited to have a finished eyeshadow at some point this year because that is happening. I also used this 13 times. It previously weighed 2.61 grams and now it weighs 2.56 grams, so I used a total of 0.05 grams up. So last but not least, and my empty for today's video, is my Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. Now, I explained this more in my first video of kind of why this is a unique situation, but basically, when I purchased this, I used it like a couple times and then it broke. And so I purchased a full size one to be able to then pour this one into here as I used this one up. And so when I rolled these in, I wanted to make sure that I used enough of this setting spray to be able to dump the rest of this spread setting spray into this bottle because if this bottle actually worked, then I would have basically just used enough of this to finish it. So hopefully that makes sense. And as you'll see in the clip that I'm playing right now, when I went to dump this into this setting spray last night, I was able to fully dump what was left in here into here. So I used enough of this one to be able to finish this. And so super excited about that. And now I have my first empty of the year, which I'm so happy about. I have really fallen in love with this setting spray. I've been trying to get into the gym at work because I do work from my office three days a week. And so during my lunchtime hour-ish or you know throughout the day, whenever I can really squeeze that time in, I try to get a little bit of time in at the gym. But that being said, obviously I'm already wearing my makeup and this setting spray has really prevented like any movement and it really has just held my makeup like locked in place. And so funny enough, even some of my peers have kind of asked like how do you get everything to like not move around? And I recommended this setting spray and one of my colleagues went and picked it up right away and said she liked it for keeping her makeup in place when she was at the gym. So just, you know, 
influencing in my small little work bubble, which I thought was funny. But yeah, I can't say enough good things about this. I'm really, really happy to have used it and finished it up. So to finish this, I used it 11 times. This previously weighed 60.94 grams and now weighs 50.50 grams. So I used a total of 10.44 grams up, which to be honest, I might have even used a little bit more because I didn't fill this to like the tippy tippy top. Happy to have this one complete and also happy to say if you watched my makeup inventory, I was saying that I couldn't find my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray and guess what? I found it. I actually had left it at my in-laws. So I was there this past weekend for my nephew's birthday with my son and we stayed over and I found it. So I was really happy to be able to bring it home with me and have that back in my collections. That being said though, that is not the product that I'm going to be rolling in. The product that I am going to be rolling in to replace this setting spray is this setting spray. So another favorite of mine, this is the L'Oreal Lumi Shake and Glow Dew Mist. I absolutely love this setting spray. It's different from the Charlotte Tilbury in the fact that it is not going to necessarily lock in your makeup, but it is going to just give you this really nice subtle glow. It's so, so beautiful. And I just love the mister on this. It's so fine, like gorgeous. Hopefully you can see that. And it smells so good. I just love how it makes my face look. This is a top, top favorite. I've had it for quite a while. I'm about, what, halfway through this. So definitely excited to roll this into the project and finish it up. I think this could be a repurchase though if I do finish it up because I like it that much. And happy to continue to make progress on setting sprays. As you may know, I finished up three setting sprays in my project pan last year. So excited to kind of continue that progress this year as well. I really do enjoy using setting sprays. So that is it for today's video. I hope all of you enjoyed this update, getting to see you know the progress that I made on my products and also getting to see the product that I finished and the product that I'm rolling in in its place. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next one.